Polyol. Our trash here. Just woke up. I'm a little gruff. You yeah, guys, excuse me. I should feel deeply ashamed that I haven't reviewed this. This is the Voyager uh, animated Optimus Prime. All stopped up today also, which is why I just woke up. Uh, I always figured they were going to come out with a leader class Optimus for this line, and they, they never did. Uh, something with a real trailer instead of this stuff right here. Um, he almost honestly looks better just without all that behind him, but at least they give a way to store his battle axe on him without uh, rather than you'll have to just remember where you put it. Uh, but let's take this back off again and talk about the truck itself. Uh, up here in the windshield I think you can see they got some circuitry effect in there. Two blue lights instead of the red and blue. I think the only the only one that had the red and the blue light was the uh, Supreme Rollout Optimus Prime, which I wouldn't touch with the 10-foot pole. And that's about it. Uh, this one right here is actually signed by David K, which was, you know, neat. I almost didn't get it signed, but, you know, having friends in high places at the convention, I was able to get in a little bit later. Anyway, to transform this guy, what you're going to do is to start off, you're going to take and split the front bumper. And the rear tires are going to fold inside of the legs. The bumper is going to come around like that. I don't remember if it rotated first or after. Uh, and clip into the back of the leg. It doesn't really clip in all that securely, but it does stay put fairly well. Same thing on that side. And flip out the toes right there. Uh, this is my part of the transformation I do not like at all. Uh, inside of here there's a little tab. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. It's black on black. You push that up. You do not push it up. You push it down. And the legs spin into place. And that's kind of neat and all, but uh, the reason I don't like it is for it to go back up into place. You can't just take and push it back up. You gotta take and, at least on mine, because I'm afraid of stripping gears or whatever, take and spin it back up into place. And then it's, I, I'd much rather just have had it fold down and be simple but anyway uh, right here oops, he's got kind of a uh, a loose waist you know I've made fun of that before so I gotta point it out on this um, pull the legs down and before we start worrying about transforming the upper body just take this right here turn it around give it that right there and you've got a little uh, at ST Walker from Star Wars kinda not really I just I was messing around one night and saw that and I was like oh shit but anyway um, put this back to the front and actually I think it'll even still no not quite it won't quite balance like that to transform this up here what you're going to do is take right here next to the grill, just pop these out right here. That will let the forearms rotate out to the side. And then, kind of give it a little, little wiggle just to come loose off the sides. And that's going to rotate out to the side like that. Flip out the hands, which will then peg on to the parts you flipped out from the side of the grill so that nothing is flopping like that last thing you're going to do is go ahead and pick up this rotate it back 
pick up the head and then all this is just going to collapse onto the back and this plug plugging back in is going to hold the head secure so it it doesn't want to rotate back on you so there you have animated Voyager class Optimus Prime uh, let's just go ahead and set him down for a second and talk about his weapons um, this is his little thing that's on the back of the cab this comes off and it is a little uh, it's supposed to be a water squirter I've never put water in it to see if it'll actually shoot water or not but this is the plug that uh, that goes in the bottom to hold the water in and it fits so loose in here I, I figure the water just leak out of it so I'm not that worried about it I'm not much for water squirting gimmicks anyway um, this leaves you with this right here and what this is you're gonna take and flip this handle down out the bottom it's gonna clip into place right there that's gonna come out to the sides And that's pretty much it, that right there. And that is his fan of doom. No wait, it's supposed to be an axe, but it uh, the they had a deluxe two pack Megatron and Optimus. They came with the correct axe for this, which I bought for the axe for this. And between then and now, I think I have put the axe in storage. So I can't show it right now. Let me just make sure it's not in the last place I saw it. Nope, it's in storage. So anyway, um, that's pretty much him. Uh, has some strange articulation on it though. Um, Try to remember just what it is that I thought was so strange on it, though. That's what it was. He has a double hinged elbow, but the hinges are in different directions. Let me get this battle axe out of his hand um, and his elbow out of his shoulder. Put that back in. It's just a one of the little peg plagues that will go in. Let me just put this forward. Okay. You dang thing. Okay, so anyway. You've got one elbow joint that comes up like this, and that'll go to about 90 degrees. And then you've got a second elbow joint that comes across like this. So you've got Optimus Prime with a severely broken elbow. Um, I'm not sure if that's the joint that makes him, allows him to transform or not. No, th that joint doesn't move for his transformation. So I don't even know why that that breaking elbow joint is there. Let me make sure. No, the breaking elbow joint doesn't even move for his transformation. So I have no idea why that joint is the way it is. But anyway, oh yeah, one other thing. Um, go ahead and put this back. He has a movable faceplate. He has the, you know, iconic Optimus Prime. Urgh, I'm Optimus Prime. And then he has the faceplate down like that, which I honestly wish it didn't have a movable faceplate just because this Optimus Prime, from the little bit of the series I actually saw, spent so much of the time with his faceplate down, he has a little goatee. But if you put the faceplate down, he loses his goatee and just gets like a massive Jay Leno chin. So to get his goatee, you've got to have the faceplate up. But anyway, uh, y'all have a good day ish.
better than me because I'm sick.